Hey everybody, it's Niall Doherty here from $50blogs.net. In last week's tutorial, I showed you how to move a WordPress site from one directory to another. Now, a common reason for performing such a move is if you're creating a new version of a website and you want it hidden away from public view in a subdirectory until it's ready for launch. For example, we had this site located at demo.50dollarblogs.net slash new last week. That's where it was before we moved it to the root directory. Uh, so in addition to having a site um, tucked away in a subdirectory like that while we're still working on it, you may also want to password protect it to be extra safe because you don't want folks accidentally stumbling across it and thinking that it's a live site because that could cause problems. So how do we password protect a WordPress site? Well, the quick and easy way to do it is to use a plugin. Uh, this is the one I use. It's from a chap named David Marchucci or however you pronounce his name. It hasn't been updated as a, for in a while, as you can see here, but it's nice and light and it still works perfectly for what we need. So let me show you here. Uh, I've installed the plugin already on demo.50.blogs.net and now I'm going to activate it right here. And once activated, I'll show you quickly the plugin options. If we go to settings, password protect plugin is there now. So these options allow us to specify a message for the login screen that folks will see when they try and access the site. Cool, so now let's log out of the site to make sure that this plugin is doing what it's supposed to do because to log in users, everything will still be accessible, uh, which is what we need because we really need to be able to work on the site ourselves. Okay, so logged out and you can see that we're brought to the login screen with that custom message. So whenever someone tries to access the site, if we go to just the home page of it here, they're going to get this login screen with that custom message. So let's try and reload another page on the site uh, just to make sure that everything is protected. So here's one I loaded up earlier. Let's click the refresh button. And yep, that one's protected too. So perfect. That's the quick and easy way to password protect your WordPress site. That's really all there is to it. So once again, my name is Niall Doherty for $50blogs.net. Uh, check back next week for another helpful WordPress-related tutorial slash screencast dealio. If you subscribe in the sidebar here at 50blogsnet slash blog, uh, you'll get a heads up on any special offers related to $50 blogs plus advance notice of live support sessions where you can get all your blogging-related problems solved and questions answered absolutely free.